Praise everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. This, ladies and gentlemen, is again the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings, our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Saludos a todos nuestros radio escuchas de habla hispana en el nombre de su Cristo. Este es el programa radial, Verdad de Dios, con el pastor Gino Jennings. No sin salutación a todos los auditores francófonos en nombre de Jesucristo. Nous sommes la vérité du dire, programme radiophonique, avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Powers Elder Robert King will now lead us in prayer. Lord God, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you again for this opportunity. We pray you, Lord God, for the word having demonstrated to our heaven. We thank you, Lord God, for the souls of thy people having a mind to continue to walk in truth. We ask you, Lord God, to go with those who are far away and those that are now. We thank you for being so merciful, Lord God, you have spared all our lives to be able to assemble. I pray, God, for those that are afflicted, those that are handicapped. We ask you, God Almighty, to raise them up from the bed of affliction. Get them a mind that they may learn to fear and to rev in your holy and righteous name. Lord God, we thank you for our pastor how you give him the gospel, give over to the world. I ask you, Lord God, continue to open the knowledge and understanding. Men and women all over the world may understand that God got one gospel for everybody that live on this earth. We pray, Lord God, help him and banish him up, give him everything that he needs to get the gospel over to the human family. Put your shield and your protection around him. Encourage his heart when he feel burdened down. Lift him up, Lord God, many chills, many heartaches. God, but help him to hold on. Just as long that you are God Almighty, you stand by. And you are everlasting, God, to everlasting, thou art God. We pray, your Lord God, for the souls that many so far have been down in water. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God, for those that are behind prison bars. Even though that they have an opportunity to hear, thank God and see the word of God be demonstrated. Thank God by the way of telecast. Thank you, God, for the man of God going into the hedge to the highway. Lord, God, I ask you to banish him up. Keep him preserve his soul, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, God, for all the human family everywhere. Lord God, that the word of God can be listed this present hour. Remember those in that bondage. Thank God we are in prison. We are locked up. Thank God that you bought us over and paid off the price. And I thank you, Lord God, for many that have received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Standing firm in this one plan of salvation. Lord God, I pray for the songs of praise and those that have a mind. God, to walk in truth. Oh, merciful God, be grateful right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God, that so many that are in bondage right now. We pray for God, those in Jamaica this present hour, that cannot see the way, but have faith and believe that God is almighty. Pray, God, that you open the door for them. Thank God that the way is made. All we got to do is to get into the way. Lord God, I thank you right now how you brought us this far by faith, leaning and trusting in your divine way. We pray, God, right now, hold up your people, Lord Jesus. Hold up the man of God. Have us to stand with him. Hold him up. Thank God on every side, every way, and everything that come and go. Oh, God, they come to destroy and come to tear down. But thank God that you were going to buy forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, help us right now to stand firm. Oh, God, don't ever lean to the left nor to the right. Thank God we get us strengthened and do all things. Oh, God, that come through us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember this brother, Lord, pray God all over the world, do call in for prayer. Do that writing in, trying to condemn your word. Oh, God, I pray to open understanding. Remember the man's comfort that coming up, Lord God, in next month. We ask you, God, may be a grace of set. Soul may be saved. My God, ears may be opened up. Heart may be made perfect in the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now we give you all the praise and all the glory. Thank God belong to thee. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, who is God Almighty. Amen. Thank you. Again, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre-recorded program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Now, you can write or email us for any of the following, a current listing of all our radio and television stations, a list of our church locations both within and outside the United States. A list of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings and the church's magazine, The Truth of God Journal. That's The Truth of God Journal, the third edition, which is now available for five U.S. dollars. A cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five U.S. dollars. However, for those writing in and requesting copies of this broadcast, we'd always ask that you indicate the program number clearly within your letter. Now, today's or tonight's program number is 538. Once again, a cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can be obtained at the cost of five U.S. dollars. However, for those writing in and requesting copies of our broadcast, we ask that you indicate the program number clearly within your letter. Now, today's or tonight's program number is 538. Once again, that number is 538. Now, if you desire to have the gospel preached in your area in person by Pastor Jennings or have questions regarding this program or simply regarding the Bible, again, you should address all your correspondence to Pastor Gino Jennings. That's Pastor Gino Jennings, First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. Again, if you're listening or watching for the first time, our address, 2431, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America. Our postal zip code, 19125. We'd also like to hear from you by, by email. Our email address is truthofgodatarrows.com. Once again, send us an email if you see this program at truthofgodatarrows.com. You may also visit us on the internet. That is, visit our website at www.truthofgod.com. Once again, visit us on the internet. Our internet address is www.truthofgod.com. I'd like to remind you of our upcoming services. Uh, that is, you are cordially invited to attend our combined men's and women's National Holy Convocation. Now, the dates are November the 20th through November the 26th. Services, service times are Monday, November the 20th through Wednesday, November the 22nd. Those service times will be at 7 p.m. in the evening. On Thursday and Friday of that week, services will be at 12 noon and again at 7 p.m. The Saturday service will be at 4 p.m. and the Sunday service will be at the usual times of 11.30 a.m. and again at 6 p.m. All services will be held right here at the headquarters church. The address, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And obviously all our listeners and viewers are cordially invited to be with us. Once again, 
our combined national men's and women's holy convocation that will convene this year, Monday, November the 20th, through Sunday, November the 26th. Services Monday through Wednesday of that particular week, all those services will be held at 7 p.m. Services beginning on Thursday and Friday will be held at 12 noon and again at 7 p.m. in the evening. The Saturday service, the Saturday service, November the 25th, I do believe, that service will be at 4 p.m. and the Sunday service will be at our usual times of 11.30 a.m. and again at 6 p.m. All services will be right here, right here at the Headquarters Church, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And all our listeners and viewers everywhere are cordially invited. Quickly to our Spanish-speaking listeners, saludos a todos nuestros. Radio escuchas de habla hispana en el nombre de su Cristo. Este es el programa radial. Verdad de Dios con el pastor Gino Jennings. Esta transmisión llega, llega a ustedes de la primera iglesia de nuestro, el Señor Jesucristo de la Fe de los Apóstoles, localizada en el 2431 de la Avenida Frankfurt, en Filadelfia, Pensilvania, 19125, en los Estados Unidos de América. El plan verdadero de Dios para nuestra salvación requiere que usted se arrepienta y sea bautizado en el agua en el nombre de Jesucristo para el perdón de sus pecados y que usted reciba el don del Espíritu Santo, según lo dice la Biblia. Le invitamos a que nos escriba y solicite los siguientes folletos bíblicos gratis titulados ha nacido usted de nuevo, mujeres predicadoras, y Jesucristo es Dios Todopoderoso. Una vez más, nuestra dirección es Primera Iglesia de Nuestro, de Señor Jesucristo, de la Fe de los Apóstoles, 2431, Avenida Frankfurt, en Filadelfia, Pensilvania, 19125, al cuidado del Pastor Gino Jennings, en los Estados Unidos de América. Que Dios les bendiga. Esperamos que nos escriban. Pronto. That's to our Spanish-speaking listeners. Now I'm honored to present unto you the servant of God and general overseer, our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger of the Almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters and friends. And once again to my enemies, <clears throat> we greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus, the one God of the prophets and of the apostles. We thank him over for the message of truth that he revealed to them for our learning. We thank him for the religion that he has conveyed to them, which is holiness. The Bible teaches us the holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. So television viewers and radio listeners, we are always thankful to open up your understanding to the Bible. I don't have no message planned or cue cards. The cameramen who you don't see are not holding up cue cards, for I'm pretty sure they would not be able to keep up with us. Amen. We give you information right from the Bible. I want to ask you, television viewer and radio listener, do you believe the Bible you carry? Hmm. Do you believe it? You have it. Now, if you believe it, you will try to do what it says. Amen. Do you believe when that smoke detector go off in your house, you check and see what's wrong. You just don't reach a conclusion without checking. The battery is low. Two o'clock in the morning and you jump up and that smoke detector is ringing. You're looking, getting your children together. You don't just keep laying there and say, well, I'll wait till the noise pass. You might pass. Amen. Is that right? So you spend time checking, looking around. The alarm called your attention because possibility can be some danger. Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible is an alarm. Sin is danger. Amen. And even though the Bible is being rung very loud, I mean it's ringing loudly, some still try to deafen the ears Amen. to the message of the scriptures. That's why this program is either blacked out <laughs> on the radio, static, fade in and out, 
but somebody can come along singing about tying a yellow ribbon around an old oak tree. That's loud and clear. Amen. Somebody come on rapping. I was in New York yesterday with me and about three other brothers and someone pulled up next to us rapping, car just blasting. And you can hear the lyrics, nothing but cursing. what they want to do to a woman, what they think a woman is. And folk love that because it is describing the true nature of man. Amen. Another man was just playing with a yo-yo that glow in the dark with a glow in the dark mouthpiece. He had lights in his mouth. So before we went in the tunnel, I let the window down and said, Sir, what, what is that in your mouth? <laughs> he opened his mouth, a, a, a mouthpiece, it lights up. Something to give him nothing to do. Then in driving, we came up through Harlem and came down the street where the famed Apollo Theater was, and we didn't go there. <laughs> and... We was taking care of some things, and you can see people by the thousands. This religion got their stand. Five percenters, Moorish Americans, Nation of Islam, Sunni, Hebrew Israelites, the nobodies, wanderers. Everyone got their stand selling something. That's right. Selling something. Why are people crowded around these stands? People are actually hunting and looking for something. Amen. They're looking for something. Mm -hmm. We have a stand in Philadelphia where brothers who are committed to truth, because you really got to be committed to something to go out there. That's right. Right. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And we're going to fix it so where the brothers can have a TV monitor with a built-in tape deck. Mm -hmm. So folks can see the truth. Mm -hmm. That way, even if they want to buy it, stand, see it, look at it while it's on your stand. Amen. Truth upset people. Oh, yeah. That many that watch us have met the brothers that was in different parts of the city, saying how they watch the telecast, how they enjoy it. Mm -hmm. The telecast is designed for one thing, not for entertainment, not for love songs. That's right. For strictly Bible use. <laughs> I'm not trying to make my name popular. We are pushing the name of the Lord Jesus throughout the world. Amen. You don't have to know my name. You can just say that preacher <laughs> or that fella. That's what they call me, K-I. That's right. The man said, put that fellow in prison. In prison. So our aim, brothers and sisters, is to wake you up from your sleep. Mm -hmm. Many of us that are here, we, are, we have hunted for years. Some of us was all kind of things. Oh, yeah. Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, non-denominational, Elks, Masons, Muslims, drug dealers, mm -hmm. in prison, Amen. gay, lesbians, prostitutes, Pimps. I want to say, I don't want to go to a church and folk used to be all that. That's the right place to, for them to be. That's right.
That's the right place to be. Amen. Let the drug lord surrender and come here. Amen. Six, chapter, if I'm correct, of the book of 1 Corinthians. Amen. You can't afford to look down on no, on no one who were in their sins. No, no. no. If they're striving to come out, come out That's from right. among them. That's right. But it takes the right thing to pull you out. Amen. Listen. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and at verse 9. Follow me. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators. Yes. Nor idolaters. Uh -huh. Nor adulterers. Nor effeminate. Effeminate. Funnies. Fairies. Mm -hmm. Nor abusers. Gay folk. Amen. Mm -hmm. Nor abusers. Folks that's not straight. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. no Crooked it, people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you can go on. No effeminate. Effeminate? No abusers of themselves with mankind. Abusers of themselves with mankind. No thieves. No thieves. No covetous. No drunkards. All, every class here that is here now mm -hmm. is sitting here now. Amen. That were in that class. Amen. There are many foreigners in America, and somebody were in this class. Amen. Some folks say, well, I don't want to come to the Lord until I get right. You're doing it wrong. That's right. The purpose of coming to him that you might get right. Amen. You will never get right being out there. Never. No, you won't. Are you listening? Amen. Get this. No drunkards, no revilers. We have some folk, men and women, mm -hmm. who was wine bibbers. <laughs> Is that right? Amen. Love wine, love the bottle. <laughs> some of you listening to me now, you still got the bottle. Mm -hmm. You got it in your house. Why are you watching me? Mm -hmm. Who? You? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> you still got your bottle? Amen. Throw it out. That way. that way you don't wait till you get cirrhosis of the liver, then want prayer. That's right. Holiness, if you really want it, will take the bottle of liquor out of your hand. Amen. The dice out of your hand. Mm -hmm. The drugs out of your body. But you have to want it. Oh, yeah. Not just hang around it. You got to want it. That's right. That's right. You must acknowledge the ills and the sicknesses oh, yeah. that are in yourself. Amen. Not drag on your cigarette and try to witness the people. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. You're not dragging on your cigarette and witnessing. Mm -hmm. You out there? <laughs> you know you need to be born again. Now you accept. <coughs> <coughs> You accept Christ as your personal Savior? I'm born again. Born of what? Born of what? Amen. Born of nicotine and of cancer. Amen. That's right. Are right, you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. Prostitute? <laughs> you too, madam. This will put clothes on you. Oh, yeah. You won't sell your body like dog food. That's right. This will dress your mind, dress your heart, and dress your body. Amen. I want to answer the email. I don't have it out here now. A woman that wrote me and asked, why do your women have clothes on? My Lord. 
She said, I go to church, I wear jewelry, and I wear many skirts, but your women are all the way covered. Aren't they hot in the summertime? Well, I'm pretty sure they are, but, but. I don't care how hot you are, if you are a respectable woman, your breasts, your thighs, your backside, your womb, you have sense enough to know is not designed for the public to see. Amen. Amen. Why do the Bible declare, put a difference? That's right. Between holiness and unholy. They won't ask a Muslim sister that. No. No, no. But the reason why they will ask our women that because they know it is out of the ordinary for women in a church to be covered. Women in churches that day are more naked than women in the streets. Amen. I don't want my wife, she can't talk to a brother. Without he's looking down where her chest begin. That's right. Or split from her heel all the way to the center of her back. Amen. A skirt or a dress no longer than my jacket. And she trying to pull it. It ain't going nowhere. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. So, sister. You want to know where does the Bible commands the woman to cover up her nakedness? Nakedness. Give me the book of Revelation. In Revelation chapter 3 and at verse 18. Listen. I counsel, to, I counsel thee to buy me gold tried in the fire. Yes. That thou mayest be rich and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed. And? And that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Where your breast began and where it ends is your business. Your business. Am I right? That's right. That's right. How can a man think about Jesus and the uh, crucifixion? That's right. And the resurrection. Amen. And you standing talking to him with your breast hanging out Amen. with a pamphlet in your hand. That's right. That's right. His mind isn't on Jesus. Oh, no. His mind is on other things. That's right. <laughs> is that right? Am I right, I said? Amen. I mean, let's be realistic. Don't be stupid. That's right. That's right. Now, someone blind would say, well, he should be able to see Jesus through all this. <laughs> it is not Amen. man's nature oh, no. to see Jesus. No, it's not. Through all of that. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you understand? Amen. <laughs> so the Bible says, cover up. That the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Cover it up. That's right. You go to these churches right. with a split from your ankle all the way up to when you sit down, your thigh just fall open. Amen. Let's fall open. Bam! <laughs> Let's come right open. That's right. A big thigh. That's right. A calf, a bicep. Amen. Today the women can't bend down in the church to pick up their pocketbook. Oh, no. No, they better not. That's right. These are church people. Amen. The woman said in her email, she said, my preacher don't say nothing. You got that right. <laughs> he is not going to say nothing. He don't mind 
and you keep bending before him. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he's not going to say nothing. Oh, no. All he's going to say is, God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven smile upon you. Amen. That's all he's going to do That's and all. preach love. Preach love. Yes, he will. Am I right? Amen. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all he's going to do. Amen. So it is, it is indecent. It's just indecent, indecent for a woman to exploit her. If you take note of the advertising industry oh. to buy clothes, oh, yeah. to get those clothes on the market so people can buy them, they get women to be half naked. Amen. They use sex. That's what they do. They use the image of hoes. That's right. There's billboards throughout Philadelphia. A woman with men underwear on. Her hands down in them. Shirt open and breasts almost revealed. Now when men see that woman, that'll make them want to buy some fruit of balloons. That's right. Or some hay. That's right. But you merchants got the resort to low pimpish Amen. methods Amen. just to sell drawers. Yeah. Talk to me. Amen. Just to sell t-shirts. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. A woman got a pose like a hoe. My Lord. Just so a company will make money. That's right. The Bible says, cover up that thou mayest be clothed. Clothed. And that the shame, and the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. You just can't wear a blouse and cover yourself. Mm -hmm. Have to be about down here. Mm -hmm. And when you go to these Christian rock concerts, you clapping and you clapping. Amen. And folks to sit right in church looking at you. Yes, they will. <laughs> Shake the preacher's hand. You folk that watch me know what I'm talking about because most of them is your pastor. Amen. Including your daddy. Amen. You go right to the church. Here's a woman come up, chest all revealed, an old bishop. Well, God bless you. Ooh, honey, honey. See, they don't call you sister or mother in the devil's churches. Oh, no. Honey, baby, sugar dial, sweet thing, rose cheese. Oh, that Lord is good to you, so sweet. Heaven, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. It's a sales pitch. All it is. All it is. Cover that stuff oh, up. That's right. Now... You want to know why the sisters have their head covered? Mm -hmm. In the 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians, the Bible commands it. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 5. Yes. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head see, uncovered. I see many of you young men out there ready to fight other young brothers. Well, they're whistling at your daughter's backside. Amen. And to my Muslim sisters, it's a shame. Why in the world... You bear with me. <laughs> Why in the world <laughs> now? Why in the world will you wear a chemo and skin tight jeans? Amen. of righteousness on your head. That's right. And in your tight backside in public. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. There ain't no one thinking about no assalamu alaikum and them tight jeans wrapped around you. No, no. That's right. 
I salam nothing. That's right. Who can see Allah? That's right. Turn on tight jeans. All of that. Amen. That's right. Who can understand the existence of Almighty Allah? That's right. With a chemo and a halter. Go ahead. Go ahead. Where? Assalam, I fake him. Amen. Amen. I fake him. That's right. Take them pants off. That's right. The Bible demands. Demands it. Demands it. In Deuteronomy 22.5. 22, 5. Amen. That a woman shall not wear. That with potatoes. Don't unto tell me man. nothing about a Palestinian custom. That's right. Take them off. Amen. Your shape shall not be revealed in public. That's right. The woman's supposed to be so she's not displayed in public in a way she don't give a man a reason to lust. Amen. I don't know where you're going to have your head covered, mouth and nose covered, and the only thing you see is your eyes and your backside wrapped in some Levi's. Amen. And no one can see Jesus. Nobody through that. Nobody. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. Listen. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Our women are not allowed to wear pants. Our little girls are not allowed to wear pants. Amen. Shorts, sweatpants, sweatsuits. In the school with many skirts on, That's many right. nothing. In the school districts throughout all America, put uniforms out. The only way our sisters will wear them, they must meet up to our standard. Amen. Our sisters will not wear many skirts on no terms. Amen. Their body will be covered. That's right. And they dress their skirts long and down. Amen. In church, you know? That's right. If the school district don't like it, so what? Amen. Let God be true. Amen. And let all of you be liars. That's right. You mothers get some clothes on your daughters. That's right. Then these young two-legged animals can stop cussing at her, calling her a female dog. Amen. You send that 12-year-old out there with sandals and straps that tie all the way up to a calf, lipstick on her lips, ears pierced and she only 12, long fake Amen. fingernails made by Japan. Amen. That's right. Got a halter on with nothing in it. And I string up her tail like a dog. That's right. And she sent out in public by her mama. Amen. And you are Christian. Christian. You of hell. That's right. Go ahead. Are you listening to me? Amen. Paul said, I speak this to your shame. Your shame. That's right. It is indecent. It's indecent. That these young women come outside like naked animals. Amen. It is indecent. That's not modest. Not at all. Kimor and Levi's. <laughs> you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. Hmm. That don't work here. Kimor and miniskirt. Oh, no. That don't work. Oh, no. That don't work here. Amen. That's right. Glory to God. A bow tie and gay don't work. No, that don't work. Am I right? Amen. It don't work. <laughs> Are you listening? The scriptures teaches us what? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. But what? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Hold it. Amen. That too. Amen. 
You men that want to wear ponytails. That's right. And some of you brothers don't have straight hair. No. See, they put a Brillo pad in their back. Take what little hair they got. Amen. And put multi rubber bands on it. Because they want to be like someone else. That's right. You young men who want to wear afros. Go ahead. Thinking that's black. You think being black is having an afro, afro and wearing red, black, and green, and yellow, and wearing shirts with a fist on it? Amen. Are you that dumb? Lord. Are you that blind that you think black is going around hating every white person living? That's right. My Lord. You don't know what black is. It is. Amen. Amen. It is more than the color. Yes, it is. It is beyond the color spectrum. That's right. Then my white brothers who want to have hair down your shoulders. And want to put black fingernails on. Yeah. Amen. And black lipstick. That's right. And my black and white brothers want to get their hair sprayed so it can get stiff in points. Yeah. Right. Like chickens. Yeah. Amen. Blue, green, red, yellow. Yeah. Purple. Amen. Everybody want to get their nose pierced. Something. I imagine a preacher up preaching with his nose pierced. Preacher. Mm. Men with earrings in their ear. What for? What for? That's right. That's God not. wanted holes in your ears. He could have put them in there. Amen. What does it do for you? Amen. What does it make you? Does it make you? Does it make you more of a man? Mm. Uh, Look at yourself while I'm talking to you. Look how filthy and dirty you are. Amen. Look at yourself, woman. Look at you. You're a Christian hoe. Look at you. Go ahead. Look at you. Go ahead, go ahead. You Christian man walk around with some yellow suit. Amen. Red ties, sky blue socks. That's right. Driving in your Cadillac linked over. That's right. And 65. Amen. Amen. You old folk today, old folk. in your 50s and 60s and 70s. That's right. It isn't too many of none of you mm -hmm. that are respectable yes. or a reasonable example to young people. Amen. Only a few of you. Only a few. And that few is hard to come by. That's right. Today, mother and daughter sit and watch porn together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hey, today, mother bring her boyfriend at home oh, and yeah. share, him share him with the daughter. That's right. Or daughters. Hmm. Father will bring his boyfriend at home <laughs> and share him with his son. Father, bring a new boyfriend home. Come here, Sam. <laughs> Sam, come here. I want you to meet Oliver. <laughs> Say hello, Ollie. Ollie. Oliver. Oliver. Yes. This is accepted. Yes, it is. That's why I was stationed here, Blackout. <laughs> That's right. Because we won't accept it. That's right. That's right. No, we won't accept it. Amen. And because of the stand we're taking, we are hated and jealous of by some of those without and within. Amen. 
but I ain't moved by neither. Look at you, you Christian nothings. When you drive to church, you listening to the gospel stations, singing, corn up yonder. Then when you get to that church, get some lightsaber. Or some chewing gum. gum. Amen. Or eat a whole box of Tic Tacs. Amen. On up to the car stand. Mm -hmm. Or on up to the deacon poles. That's right. Or on the usher. Amen. A cigar sucking Christian. Some of you watching me got a six pack in your house. Mm -hmm. Beer guzzling. Bible toting Christians. Amen. That's why you can't stand me, and I don't care if you don't. That's right. As long as God got my big, my big mouth in motion, in motion, I'm going to work on you while you're in the land of living. Amen. You see, if I was worrying about how folk feel about me, I would preach solely for love. That's right. But my concern is the feelings of God. That's right. Whether folk hate us or love us, it doesn't matter to us. Amen. If God is pleased with us, that's where I get my satisfaction. Amen. You Christians, Christian. you a Christian, mm. you's a Christian, you are? Well, look, Christian, how can you be a Christian and you and use a bar dancer? That's right. Sliding down some pole. That's right. Like you work for the fire department. Amen. And Reb is sitting out there. Yes, he is. That's right. Taking that dollar, throwing it to you. That's right. You rub Red's head and got him saying, Jesus. Hmm. You's a Christian? Christian. Hmm. How'd that come about? Amen. Uh, in my research of the Bible, you're supposed to be a new creature. That's right. So if I'm a new creature, hmm. if I have a job, that caused me to break the law of God, mm -hmm. then that job going to be on my list of sacrifices. That's right. That I will have to make so I can truly walk with God. That's right. The Bible teaches us all things are lawful unto me, but all things not are not expedient. It is lawful to work, but it's right. not expedient to have any type of any job. job. That's right. Men and women, women, you can't work in a Playboy club just like a big rabbit. No way. With that cotton tail. Amen. I can't do that. Walking around serving drinks. That's right. Half naked. Hoppins. That's right. And then Sunday, soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Yeah. Soon, no, oh, no, no, no. Soon and very soon, you're going to hell. That's right. That's what that is. What it is. This cheap, watered down religion will keep you a sinner. Amen. You a Christian? What kind? What kind? I read the Bible. Again, I say. That's right. What kind? That's right. You can go on the bus and find folk reading the Bible with a cigarette in their mouth. Oh, yeah. Is that right? That's right. If you want change, you first must have the will to surrender and submit and make an effort to do that. That's right. You can't talk change. Well, I want to change, but... I'm not ready. What else you want to do? Mm -hmm. Look at yourself, brother. Look at yourself. 
while I'm talking, bring a mirror. If you got one, set it next to the television. Look at what I'm saying and look at you. Look at you. Why in the world is your eyebrows arched? Amen. Why is your hair dyed? Why you got eyebrow pencil on, woman? Why do you got fake eyelashes? Hmm. Why? Why? Why did you get breast implants? That's right. If your husband really loved you, he loved you the way God made you. That's right. You don't need no inner tubes and plastic bottles and rubber tires all stuck on you. Stuck on you. Until you clanging and making a bunch of noise. Amen. Am I right? Amen. And holiness, you don't need wigs, toupees, no, no. fake fingernails, hair extensions. That's right. Nail hardener. You don't need that in true holiness. No, no. Your main objective is to be filled with God and stay with him. That's right. That's your goal. That's right. Stay with him who shall abide in my word and my word abide in him. Amen. That's right. Let's get the head mm -hmm. covered. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 5. Listen. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered, what? Dishonoreth her head. Well, that now the head of every woman is the man. The man. So one said, no, that's male chauvinistic. No, that's Bible. Bible. That's the Bible right. says. But I would have you know. Listen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 at verse 3. You that didn't know. But I would have you know. Now you that didn't know. That the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman. The head of the woman. Is the man. Now woman. Mm -hmm. Let me say to the man. Before you quote that to the woman. Mm -hmm. Give that woman something worthwhile. Amen. That she don't mind respecting as head. That's right. That's right. Is that right? Amen. That's right. Listen, I say, <laughs> there's a lot of women that would love to respect man mm -hmm. for his position as a man. That's right. Your manhood is not based upon your performance in a bed Amen. or your male anatomy. Mm -hmm. Dogs perform. That's right. That's why so many of them. So Amen. many of them, they got us running from them. <laughs> so you have no monopoly. No, no. But the woman would love something worthwhile in the house. That's right. To look up to, honor, and respect, and make a woman feel good when she knows she got a man she can Amen. respect. Amen. Not some hen peck, spineless, watered down, limp wrist. Good for nothing, coward. Yeah. We don't want to do nothing but go to the bathroom and That's sit right. around and watch ball games. That's right. And be babied and pet. That's right. Who won't even take responsibilities for his own failures. That, amen. But ready to take credit for her accomplishments. Go ahead. That he had no part taker in. Amen. Teaching. Yes, the Bible teaches the woman is the weaker vessel, but the woman still is a very strong thing in the earth. That's right. She's a strong vessel in the earth oh. and an important vessel in the earth because the woman is like a ship. That's right. And is the first one responsible for livestock. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Go ahead. The livestock that she carries is male and female. That's right. And the ship is bringing them to port. In the port. Go ahead. But as the body sail mm -hmm. on the water, sail through the troubles of life. Amen. It must watch out for its cargo. That's right. If the ship go too deep in trouble until it take in water, mm -hmm. she must know how to protect the cargo. That's right. That the cargo don't drown. Go ahead, go ahead. Woman, 
The way you raise a child is not weight to its born. Amen. The way you raise a child is where you find out you conceive. It is the way you carry your body. That's right. Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Thank God. He, he fills this program up on his website and points the people to the truth of God.